Grand Rising peeps. I hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing well. So I am just now coming out to my garden. I'm a little late. It's like 8 o'clock. I had to go in the garage and finish this ring real quick. So then I water my garden and then I'll polish that ring and take pictures. But anyways, I was watching Lady Cheryl while I was setting the stone and she really helped me out. Um, she really helped me out today. She helped me get a different outlook. I hope you guys can hear me because my neighbor's cutting his grass. I don't blame him. I'm about to cut mine. That's another thing I have to do today. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so Lady Cheryl lives in, uh, I think Mesquite, North Texas. I know she's in North Texas um for sure and while i'm so glad that you guys are watching me if you are watching me from somewhere that's a totally different zone like i'm zone 9a um or a totally different which means you probably have a different climate somewhat because the zones can still be different but if you're watching me from somewhere that has a shorter growing season or you're watching me from somewhere that's even hotter than where i am then you would need to adjust your garden accordingly. And I would encourage you to look for other gardeners in your area because Lady Cheryl is north of me. And when she was showing her garden, she was just talking about how hot it is and like how some of the plants are suffering because of the heat. And Lady Cheryl has shade cloth, I don't. What I do is I garden around the perimeter of my yard near the fence um, I kind of have a shade garden, but remember I'm in Houston, Texas. So even my shade garden is not really fully a shade garden. Like it gets hot over there for a long part of the day. So anyway, the way that she helped me is she just kind of made me feel better because I don't have the production, first of all, that I want yet. Um, but that's partly probably because I'm a new gardener. I had to start seeds more than once. I've had deaths in the family. There's multiple reasons why. But the second thing, some of my plants, I have been feeling like, oh my gosh, you're struggling and I'm just being a bad plant mama. You know, like this elderberry is looking so brown. Like it's getting taller. It always has new growth, but it just looks hurt. And I do pull the brown off and then look how naked it looks. <laughs> So I always drop comfrey, different stuff down in here. Um, another thing is, I think it needs a bigger pot. I tried to move this pot to get him out of the sun and there were already roots in the ground. So that made me scared to relocate him because I'm like, I should probably wait to the fall to be like, you know, cause I'm gonna have to like pull those roots out of the ground, you know? So, um, there's that guy. Oh, y'all, look at this baby. Oh, my gosh. Grand Rising. <laughs> hey, are you living in the cantaloupe now? I've never seen you. Look at that boo-boo. He's so cute. I got distracted. Um. So, there's that one. So I think I'm going to wait until it cools down a little bit and then move it somewhere else. I also have, these look healthy still, but they do get attacked. This one got attacked by a big old hornworm. Um, that one had spider mites. If you can see, I cut the whole top off of this one. This is the eggplant. Why does it look blurry? Can I hope y'all can see that. I cut the whole top off. It only had like this, <laughs> like some little tiny, uh, you know, leaves on it when I did that. And I was like, hopefully you grow back because why are you struggling so much? So they're green, but I wonder if they're stressed. This is a very sunny spot. Originally, I thought I need to lift up my plants over here because they're close to the fence. Let me back out. They're close to the fence and this is, it's shaded down here, but maybe they need a little more shade. 
I had them originally over there. And excuse all the stuff in my yard. We are just like building things and changing. This is not a garden tour, y'all. This is just some thoughts. My fig and my banana are so sad. Like they look so sad. Like I was like, just stay alive. And I do every once in a while, I'll cut, you know, some of the brown off and I just stick it back in there. I put comfrey down in there. There's mulch in there. So I do try to keep them hydrated. Um, I water often. <laughs> My soursop looks pretty okay, but I think soursop is from a hotter place, but even this one still has some Jamaica and stuff. So that's the thing, You, if you learn about where your plants are from, it'll give you some insight to what they need. But this heat, man, I was like, oh, must be doing okay. Cause look at this cantaloupe, he looks all right. Like stuff is still alive. And I feel like I'm still learning. So at this point, I'm pretty excited about things just still being alive. I've got turmeric. You know, when we do garden tours, like, stuff is alive. Like, I need to come get some tomatoes out of here. I think there's assassin bugs on these tomatoes. I don't know if they are guarding it because the tomatoes look fine. Can y'all see them? Um, this tomato struck. It kind of struggled. Like, it gave me some, but, like, I'm like, are you? You're not thriving. You know, you alive, but you're not. <sighs> some of the stuff is doing great, and some of it is not. But I just realized watching Lady Cheryl that if it's not, that's not just a full, it's just not all on me. Like, I'm doing pretty good. I'm learning as I go. The most you can do, guys, is observe. Like, this is all about learning. Like, nobody is the perfect gardener, you know? You just keep doing it. <laughs> and you learn and then I started gardening in San Diego so this is totally different for me I also realized beans keep dying excuse us not fully put together pool guys my beans I'm like why the beans keep dying they keep dying it's too hot it's not you, Aisha. It's not even the seed. Because sometimes I'll be like, oh, is it the seed? You know, because it can be different things. But no. I do have some beans sprouting here. And I'm hoping that it's coming up on August. So I'm hoping in August we get a little bit of relief. I do have small peppers that are still alive. So, like, it's okay. I do have that baby. That's my first baby. <laughs> love that pepper plant and look at that pepper it's gorgeous it is gorgeous my husband gonna have to move this pool i'm about to cut this back y'all i know y'all like what about that basil we're not talking about the basil i guess basil is cool with 103 degree weather we learned that too so some things are looking good um i'm also realizing by observing my garden that i can probably put a lot more stuff <laughs> And that makes me so excited. Um, that makes me excited. I normally put my perennials and stuff back in here. See, I have greens in July. They might not be super tasty, but I, as long as they stay alive until it's, you know, starts cooling down, we gravy. See, look at this one. Oh, oh baby. I'm gonna put some more seeds in there before I water. So I better get to watering, but let me just show y'all. This is another area back here, which you can see the grass is creeping in. I am going to take these rocks out and put actual bricks so that it can be like taller and thicker and make a real barrier. But this is another area that I plan to fill. I may move some of my trees back here and i'm definitely going to be putting uh broccoli cauliflower cabbage i am planting you know my fall garden seeds and what can't fit in a bed that i already have will be going in containers or grow bags back there so you know when you learn and you watch i guess the lesson 
for these sweet potatoes are out of control. <laughs> I guess the lesson for to is to seek out other gardeners in your area or near uh, the conditions that you have in your garden because it will help give you more perspective um, on your own garden. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you are in a zone 9A area, let me know and let me know where you live. And is your garden similar to mine? If you are in Texas anywhere, let me know because you know the struggle is real out here and we could definitely relate and if you're not let me know where you are and how is your garden different from mine so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video